not only do we get to do that recognition, we get to do something practical. We get to do something that starts to provide the foundation to get it. A lot of these issues that are facing far too many Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples in this country. And, you know, I was part of the regional dialogues with Arnie Pat Anderson and Megan Davis, Professor Megan Davis. I was a co-facilitator at each one of those dialogues. I helped co-facilitate the Uluru State, the Uluru Constitutional Convention and, and had the great privilege of signing the statement. And it's been really interesting listening over the last couple of months about um, all the commentary and, and the speculation and the experts picking apart the sentences. And I understand why they do that. This is important. We've got to get it right. And we think that what's being proposed is right. Um, but when the mob talked about this, they weren't talking about clauses and provisions. They were talking about their young people. They were talking about their aspirations and their hopes, and in many cases, their fears for their young people. And so when they were posed this question, what should meaningful recognition look like, it was no surprise, no surprise whatsoever, that they went for something that could have an impact, something that could start to work for the benefit in a very practical way for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples and communities. A simple statement, some nice flowery, poetic words hammered into the constitution to tick a box to make everybody else feel good about themselves was never going to be the solution because of the urgency facing far too many of our people. And we've seen it in, in, in recent things that have been reported in the media, in some of our communities that are in, in a really distressed state right now. The people that work on the front line of those issues have their signatures penned to the Uluru Statement from the heart because, um, because they know that we need our voices heard. This is the starting point, this is the foundation for us to get at the issues that, uh, that are affecting far too many of our communities. So when we go into that polling booth and we write that word yes, because we believe the majority of Australians and the majority of states will, um, we are going to get a very good deal for ourselves. We're going to get this recognition piece and we're going to be able to get that practical voice um, uh, guaranteed by the Australian Constitution.